Hey everybody, Pat here from West Corners Custom Cycles. Welcome back to the Underground gar Garage. Um, we're back on this uh, 85 Virago build. Time to get the runnability uh, issues all taken care of. So that's all done. Uh, I want all that done in this video. So from now on, next video on is just going to be us tearing it down. Uh, seeing what we can do to uh, make it look cool and uh, make it look nice. Okay couple of things we got to do. I got to figure out this gas tank situation. Uh, I think I got that figured out. I think I'm going to be ordering one offline and then modifying and fixing this one down the road for a different idea I got going on. But that one's going to take a while. So uh, another thing we got to take care of is uh, that I haven't really gone through. I went through the wiring but I and I put a new battery in it and as you've seen it starts, it runs, so that all seems good on it. Um, I have to uh, check out the charging system, make sure that's working correctly, that it's putting out what it should. Um, I, the last thing I got to do is get it running, get everything up to temperature, um, adjust and set the carburetor so that that's all done, set the uh, idle on it and everything. And everything will be done when I get to that. But before I can start it, I also got to go around the bike. I think I showed you in either the second or third video that there's a bunch of stuff that I found that was loose. Mostly some engine mounts. And the reason that is, I think because somebody took a set of engine guards off it. I had these in the garage and they're not in the greatest of shape. So I'm going to have to... Uh, Scuff these all up and hit them up with some paint to make them look nice. Um, but I'm going to get them back on there, tighten up everything, go around the whole bike, make sure nothing else is loose and everything's taken care of. And uh, I want to get you in here and show you something that i got to check on this charging system. Uh, it has to do with the regulator. It goes on the back side of the left rear um, foot peg. I'll get you in here. All right, this is the uh, left rear foot peg. Mounts on the bike like that. This is bolted to the back of it. This is your regulator. I don't know if it's a regulator rectifier. I'd really have to look. But uh, this bolts on just like that. These two screws. These two screws... I tried getting them out forever, and I couldn't get them out. I finally had to go down the street. A buddy of mine's impact driver, we got one of them loose with, and then we snapped his uh, bit, and that was a Mac set uh, from Mac Tools. So then I went and bought another impact driver and beat on the other one for a half an hour or better with some heat, uh, just gently heating it because um, they didn't want to hurt the rectifier, and finally got it to break free and come out. So if... Once you get these out, you're going to have a problem. Uh, put some anti-seize on them when you go to put them back in. Just a little tech tip. Anyway, the reason this has to come off is this unit is grounded from the backside. And you can see what the backside of this one looks like. It's horrible. Probably didn't have a very good connection whatsoever. Now, that gets its connection from right here where it bolts up to. So I have to clean both these surfaces down to bare, good, clean metal. Put some dielectric grease on it. Make sure it doesn't corrode up again. Then bolt this back down. Anti-seize on the bolts. Now, where this gets its ground from to give it to this is from this mount right here and this mount right here. It's where it mounts to the bike. There are uh, two 10 millimeter hex head bolts. And uh, so you got to clean this spot off and the end of this off down to bare metal, good clean metal. Same thing, dielectric grease. And you have to clean the spots off on the bike where these meet up to. Get them down to bare metal so that everything's got a good, good ground and you don't have to worry about that. Because if this isn't grounded, you're not going to be putting out what you should and your battery's not going to be charging the way it should, which makes it harder to start and... A bunch of other problems so um i'm gonna get this cleaned up then i'm gonna bring you back take you out in the garage and uh I'll show you how this goes back together and i'm gonna show you another tip when we get out in the garage on the bike 
on uh, what I do just to give this a little added insurance. I, I, I hook another ground to it right down from uh, the uh, negative on the battery. And I hook it up where one of the bolts, you know, on this tab here where it hooks up. But I'll show you that when I get out there. All right. Let me get this cleaned up. And through the magic of video, I'll be back in a second. Okay, everybody, we're back it's, uh, several days later because uh, I took the, uh, the Liberty while I had these off. I took the foot pegs off. As you can see, it looks 100% better than it did a little bit ago. I uh, spent a couple hours, sanded these down, um, hit them with some self-etching primer, let that dry for a day, uh, put a couple of coats of this... Um, uh, this is actually chrome paint on here. I didn't polish up the aluminum, but uh, gives it kind of a, an aluminum look. It's not really chrome, but turned out pretty decent. Looks a heck of a lot better than it did. But okay, we're back on this. I'm going to show you. I got this all set up. This is cleaned down to bare metal, like I told you. I cleaned up the back of the uh, the regulator itself down to bare metal. I'm going to take and uh, put dielectric grease on here and on the back of the regulator. Going to get bolted back on here. One screw here, another screw through here. Um, I cleaned up the uh, the two tabs or the two mounting surfaces where it goes to the frame. I actually cleaned up the. Uh, this is bare metal here. This is bare metal here. And I cleaned up where it mounts on the bike. It's all cleaned up down to bare metal. So I'm getting dielectric grease on all that. So we got good connection. Uh, another thing that I did, this tab right here, I cleaned that up down to good bare metal. And what I do once I get it out on the bike, just for a little added insurance to make sure that uh, I have good ground and don't lose it. I should have all good ground here. I also cleaned off the uh, the ground connection where the main ground cable comes from the battery down to the frame, but I'm going to put another wire that hooks to here with a little eyelet, and that's going to go up um, to the negative on the uh, battery also. So there'll be a, a negative right to the battery hooked here, and we're going to get a, a, a negative connection where we mount it up. So that's how that's going to go on there. I'm going to get out in the garage, get this mounted up, show it to you. Then we're going to get this thing uh, started and warmed back up. Let it run for four or five minutes, get up the temperature, and I'm going to set that carburetor. And then I'm going to get a uh, multimeter on this and make sure that we're putting out what we're supposed to. Usually when a bike's idling, it's going to show like 12 volts. You want to roll it up to about two and a half grand in that range somewhere. And then it should show 13 and a half volts. So we'll see how all that goes. All right, let's get in the garage. All right, everybody. As you can see, we're back out here in the garage. Snowing outside. My glasses are all wet. Um, I've got the foot peg back on. Regulators on the way I told you it was going to be. I've got the wire run from the battery down to the regulator. So it's got the grounds, like I said. Uh, I've got the IV bottle filled back up with gas, got a multimeter right here, so once it gets warmed up, I can take it up to 25 RP RPMs, give or take, and uh, see if this thing's putting out 13 and a half, which it should be, and uh, if so, then our charging system's good, and while it's warm, I'm going to set the air fuel mixture on this. Once I get that dialed in where I want it, I'm going to reset the uh, idle at about 1,000 RPMs. And that should be it on the running aspect of it for now. And uh, then we can get turning it apart. If you haven't noticed, I've taken the uh, rear fender, blinkers, uh, sissy bar, and everything else that was on the back off of here. Uh, it's been several days. I've been cleaning stuff on the side while I was painting that foot peg and getting everything ready to go back down here. So let's get this fired up and uh, get her warmed up.
run it out of gas again. Not too bad. Sounds pretty good. All right. Now, fill this back, back up. I'm going to start it again. I'm going to check the voltage on this when I rev it up to about 2,500 RPMs. I certainly need to buy another one of these with a larger reservoir. All right. charging right now too. Get you over here. Show you the air cleaner I put on it. Now see what's going on out here? Been going on all afternoon. But there's the air cleaner I put on it. If I can get you in here a little better. It's even trimmed in gold, just like the motor is on these Virago 1100s. So, there you go. Get you back over here. All right, everybody, that's it. Runnability's done. Well, it's about 35 degrees out here. Maybe a little bit warmer, not much, or it'd be raining. Um, I think that's it. I gotta work on what I'm gonna do with the gas tank here. That's not a big deal. I'll have that done the next time we, uh, we come back to it. But I am gonna rip this entire bike down to a set of forks, the frame, motor, Everything's coming off the rear, the shocks, the swing arm, the differential, all that's going. Uh, I'm thinking about changing out the rims that are on it. I got another set of rims uh, for this bike. They're from the third generation. They're a little different than the uh, gold ones on the second gen. Hang on. Okay. So, that's it. I'm going to get this video up and out to you guys. And from now on, it's just going to be making this thing look cool. So, as always, be good to each other. If you're riding at this time of year, we aren't here, obviously. Uh, ride safe, and uh, always live life behind bars. Peace. I'll catch you in the next video. Woo! Runnability is done.